Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. A lot of you really enjoyed the free road mesh I provided along with my road tutorial. Which is why today I'm gonna be showing you how you can make your own custom road mesh in a few minutes. So I'm gonna be doing this in Blender, but uh, the technique can be applied to any 3D program. But I use Blender because it's free and everyone can download it. So um, once you're in Blender, you wanna go to Edit, Preferences, navigate to Add-ons, and then look for Images, Import Images as Planes. And you wanna check that this is enabled and if it's not enabled, you have to install it and uh, restart Blender with it enabled. Um, Alright, so once you have this enabled, you want to start looking for a good road texture. My favorite place to look for textures and materials is Ambient CG. We are gonna look for road. And as you can see, you have a lot of different road textures here. Uh, personally, I would recommend you take an asphalt texture and mixing it with uh, one of these like road line textures. I use paint.net to make the textures for the free mesh in the road tutorial. Um, and uh, the reason I did this is because um, if you mix the asphalt texture with the lines texture, uh, it's a lot easier to create variations and for example I have the just line texture where it's just the line on the right side so that's very important if you're doing junctions. However if you just need a straight road you can just take one of these textures and skip the next part where I'm gonna show you how you can blend the asphalt with the road lines. Even if you download the lines texture as a PNG image, it will not come with the alpha channel. So you will have to import not only the color texture, but also the opacity texture. Because this is what is gonna give us our alpha channel information. So once you have all these textures imported, the next thing you'll have to do is go to the magic wand and click on the black part of the opacity texture. This will basically make a selection uh, of all the parts of the road line texture that are meant to be transparent. Once you've got the selection, all you have to do is go to the eraser tool, then select the color texture and simply erase all over the image. So all the parts that are not meant to have opacity now become transparent and you can see the asphalt through it. So once you're done with that, just export your image as a JPEG. Now, go back to paint.net and erase every line except for the line all the way on the right. This way we can get our just line texture for our junctions. Save this as well and now we can go into Blender. Alright, so once you're in Blender, all you really have to do is go to Add and then go to Image and Images as Planes. Now you simply have to navigate to the texture that you want to use. I have a lot of different textures here. I'm gonna go with this one. You uh, select your texture um, that you chose for your road and you simply click on Import Images as Planes. And now uh, you only need the color texture for now. Uh, let's import this, alright, let's switch on so we can see the texture a little bit better, yes. Alright, um, now what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna rotate this, yeah, by we're actually gonna make this to zero and then we're gonna make this zero as well, so we have it like this. And uh, now what we're gonna do, the next step is uh, more or less optional, oops, but you can go into edit mode and add two loop cuts 
around like the edge of the line I think is a good place for them uh, so make this approximately like this and now what you can do you take uh, these two lines uh, edges I mean you take these two edges and you can just move them down like a little bit to help your road blend with the landscape with the terrain um, so you don't have like uh, an edge that goes into a void or something like that this uh, really makes it a lot easier to blend your road another very important thing is uh, before you export your road make sure to add some loop cuts kind of like this along the road so it can bend better when it's uh, used on a spline in Unreal Engine once you're finished with that, simply go to export and export as FBX. Alright, so once you're inside Unreal Engine, all you have to do is import your road mesh and the corresponding textures. So you're gonna go to import the game. Import all. Next, let's import the textures. So now that we got everything we need imported, um, uh, you can see that Unreal Engine automatically created a material for the road mesh. So we're just gonna double click it, wait for it to load, of course. All right, so here we've got our road material, but it's still missing some data and we're just gonna add that. So we're gonna Select everything except for the color and we're just gonna drag it in here. Of course, if you used a different asphalt texture, you have to get the um, data from the different asphalt texture, of course. Um, but uh, this is the right one. So we always, you can see here, the texture you have, plug that into ambient occlusion, uh, do the same for the displacement into the pixel depth offset, um, then do normal into normal, and of course roughness into roughness maybe organize it a little bit so it's not all over the place yeah kind of like this all right uh, so you have your basic material ready and as you can see if we look at this this looks a lot more realistic so you're gonna hit save of course you can duplicate this material and switch out this texture sample with a uh, road with one line or like just the asphalt texture um, but I'm gonna skip that part because uh, I already explained it in the other tutorial so we're just gonna go ahead and start building a little road to show you it works so we're gonna go to landscape um, go to manage to splines and then start control clicking and start making, drawing some basic splines. Go here, select all segments, uh, go to spline meshes, add element, and then look for your road, new road for tutorial in this case. As usual, the orientation is a little uh, wonky. Uh, yeah, I think I think this is this is right. Yeah. All right. Um, I think it's still loading the texture. Um, disable scale to width because you want to uh, have it uniform, and then do like scale everything to or everything three and yeah, maybe I think this is maybe not that bad all right guys so that was it for this video I hope you learned something and if you did feel free to let me know by liking the video and if you don't want to miss out on any future videos feel free to subscribe to my channel and I hope I will see you in the next video until then bye bye